Thank you. It's an idea whose time has finally come. Yeah, after decades of talking about building a lodge at Potato Creek State Park in North Liberty, the state finally took action today. Mark Peterson has been covering the story literally since the start. Mark, mm -hmm. what took so long? <laughs> you know, it came down to money. At one point, the state tried to partner with a private company, some kind of lease agreement. At one point, it tried selling excess space on state-owned cell towers to raise the cash. Time and time again, though, those efforts just came up short. And turn it over. A groundbreaking today marked the ceremonial start of construction of an inn at Potato Creek State Park in North Liberty, while new renderings provided a peek at what things should look like in the end. This one shows a four-story, 120-room inn to the upper right and a conference and event center with full-service dining to the left. Inside, there will be an indoor aquatic center. The lodge will feature a rather grand entrance and lobby. And it just brings another opportunity for where other people can spend their leisure time with us. It's a whole nother um, guest type that aren't necessarily campers or day users, but want a little more luxur luxury in their accommodations. Uh, it doesn't get any better than this. I feel my heart rate already going down. <laughs> Tell us about your involvement in the projects and how far back that goes. Well, the Troy Group was involved 20, 25 years ago when the original concept and selection of this site. And it's been a long process. I'm surprised the plans have survived. It's going to look almost originally like it was before. But uh, it's definitely going to be a beautiful place. What do you think your dad would say if he was here today? He would probably be a little emotional today, I think. What did you, th what did you say? Yeah. I think he would be crying. So... This was his dream, and it came true today. In a landmark day for Indiana State Parks. Some people wondered if they'd ever live to see the day construction would begin, and some who worked so hard over the years to keep hope alive did not live to see this day, like the late State Representative Richard Mangus and his successor in the House, the late Jackie Walorski. Now, the governor credits Indiana's expanding economy as the reason the state was able to set aside $100 million for this project at this point in time. And the state plans on paying in cash without having to bond or borrow. Finally. Beautiful, too. <laughs> Indeed. Mark Peterson, how long have you been reporting on this? <laughs> Forever. <laughs> too 20, long. 20 years? <laughs> 20 years, right? Mark, nice to see it. Uh, the start at the beginning. Yes, right. a new beginning for sure. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Mark. There's so much more to get to, including that school forecast. We'll be right back after this break. You're watching WNDU-TV, 16 News Now. Get breaking news and weather.